Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to factor a trinomial where the leading coefficient is something other than 1. And it's a method that they call the bottoms up method. And I won't get into the uh, mathematics behind it, the reasoning behind it, but I'll just show you what the, the procedure is. It's, it's actually kind of an easy procedure to do. So the first thing you look for is the coefficient in front of the quadratic term. Remember the quadratic term is the term that has the square. And it, notice that this case it's a 2. So what you do to factor this is you take the 2 and you multiply it by the constant at the end of the trinomial. And in this case we, we're going to get x squared minus 21x plus 54. And what you've done is you've turned your trinomial into a trinomial where the leading coefficient is now 1. Okay, so what does that do for you? Well, now you want to find two factors of 54 that add up to a negative 21. Now, you, you may not think of one right off the bat. So what I normally do is do what I call pair factoring. And I start with 54. And... I start to think of all the pairs that will multiply to 54. That's called pair factoring. So I start with 1 and I go 1 times 54. And then I go 2 times, I just go right down the line. So 2 times 27. 3 times 18. Aha! There it is. Because you'll notice that 3 and 18 can add up to a negative 21. So then I go ahead and use those as part of my factoring. Now just do a quick check here. Negative 3 times negative 18 is a positive 54, but when you add them, you get a negative 21. So we know we're on the right track here, okay? Now in the bottoms up method, the next step is kind of an odd one, but this is what you do next. Since you multiplied by 2, now you have to divide by 2. And then you just go ahead and simplify those fractions. Now with this one over here, you're going to get x minus 9. Over here, you can't simplify 3 over 2 any further, can you? And this is where the bottoms up name comes in. If you can't simplify that any further, this is where you bring the bottom up. And you get now 2x minus 3. And that should be the factor, the factors, for this original trinomial. Okay? Let's just check that just to make sure. Now, how do you check that? Well, since you've got two binomials, let's just go ahead and do a, a FOIL. 2x times x, 2x squared. 2x times negative 9, negative 18x. Negative 3 times x is negative 3x. And then negative 3 times negative 9 is a positive 27. It looks like, let's add our like terms here. I'm going to get 2x minus 21x plus 27. The answer checks. Okay? So let's just go through those steps one more time. You do the bottoms up method when your trinomial has a coefficient, a leading coefficient, other than 1. Okay? You take that coefficient. You multiply it by the constant. Then you ask yourself, what times what gives you 54, but adds up to the middle term? You can do pair factoring until you reach some numbers that work. Once you've done that, since you whatever number you multiplied by is the number that you divide by. If you can reduce it to a whole number, you do that. If you can't, you bring the bottom up, rewrite it, perform a quick check by foiling, and you should be done at that point.
Okay, I hope that helps.